Well, the council did agree on a plan to redevelop a downtown Sioux City hotel that has been closed and under renovation for two years. Now, the Sioux City City Council voted to approve the renovation project of the former Gordon Drive Holiday Inn on a four to zero vote. The building was renamed the Riverside Plaza Hotel back in 2021. It then closed for reconstruction in 2022. The hotel is expected to be rebranded into a 120 room Hilton Doubletree with a full service restaurant called 1854 Grill to mark the year Sioux City was founded. The decor inside will showcase Sioux City history. City records show the total investment will be $10 million with a completion date set for the end of this year. And Sioux City's west side is one step closer to getting a Chick-fil-A. The council approved the city deed on a 4-0 to zero vote. Council approved a development agreement back in July for the sale of the property at the corner of Hamilton and Wesley, just across from the Casey's Convenience Store. That also includes the alley. A vacated building currently sits on that property. Developers would tear that down and reconstruct a new restaurant. Sioux City Police are getting an upgrade to new body cameras and other video equipment they say is needed. The police department is looking to replace body worn cameras, mobile audio video recorders and interview room equipment at the Sioux City Police Department. The council did approve the new equipment upgrade tonight on a four to zero vote. City documents show the equipment currently in use has exceeded its five year lifespan and is beginning to fail. The department also cites advancing technology that improves effectiveness and efficiency for officers. Now, the maintenance agreement for the current equipment has also expired, meaning any repairs are not covered. The total cost for the equipment replacement is about $1.4 million. Well, after being approved to purchase the land, a local nonprofit is hoping to take the next step. The council voted to approve the resolution for purchase of land on a four to zero vote. Agape will now get 38 acres of land that is near the new Woodbury County Law Enforcement Center. Agape plans to invest $12 million to construct a 50,000 square foot facility on that property and has agreed to purchase the property for the appraised price of $710,000.